The US Navy recently tested its longest serving unmanned vessel as a platform for port security missions in Norfolk, Virginia, the home of its biggest base complex. This move is part of the larger game plan where the US Navy wants to have an unmanned component to meet the ever changing battle dynamics. Viewers may note that unmanned vessels are prioritized in the US Navy's 2021 budget request. Leaders in the US Navy and Marine Corps have stressed the need for unmanned vessels that can operate on and below the surface as the service aims to take on new threats at sea. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why testing of Common Unmanned Surface Vehicle or CUSV, for patrol and force protection missions is a major step. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by free-to-play game World of Tanks. It's one of the most well-designed tank games in the world which can be played on PC. The game has huge tank arsenal which consists of tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks. The game has authentic models and vehicle characteristics as well as focuses on a realistic combat scenarios. You can fight battles, cross open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, tear across deserts and in urban industrial zones. There are over 550 tanks and 40 battle arenas. World of Tanks has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you 7 premium days, 500 gold, a premium tank Soviet T-127 if you are registering for the first time. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and use the code TANKTASTIC to get your bonus. Take the plunge and join more than 100 million players who share the same passion as you. The Fleet Class Unmanned Surface Vessel, also called the Common Unmanned Surface Vessel CUSV, is an unmanned surface vessel designed for the United States Navy to be deployed from Freedom and Independence Class Littoral Combat Ships or LCS. The aim was to use CUSV for countermine and anti-submarine warfare module in LCS. It is built by the defense conglomerate Textron. As of 2020, four units of the class have been built. The first was delivered to the US Navy in 2008. The CUSV is being evaluated for anti-surface role as well. Viewers may note that in early 2018, Textron and the US Navy entered an agreement to test anti-surface weapons on the CUSV platform which include target designators, sensors and remote weapon stations. Testing CUSV with weapons suitable for patrol and force protection missions is a tactical decision since new kinds of threats have emerged. For example, in December last year, the US Navy has confirmed that multiple small Iranian boats ran alongside the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln and other ships from her strike group as she sailed through the Strait of Hormuz into the Gulf of Oman. Though the US Navy had rejected reports that any of the Iranian craft harassed or otherwise acted provocatively toward the carrier, it is clear that asymmetric threats are a cause of concern for the large surface warships. The point here is that these boats are relatively cheap and can potentially cause damage to valuable surface combatants of the US Navy, especially when acting as a swarm. CUSV is 39 feet or 12 meters in length and displaces 7.7 .7 tons. It is a small semi-planing hull craft. CUSV is capable of speeds of over 35 knots, that is 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour and can carry up to 5,000 pounds or 2,300 kilograms of equipment. It is designed to operate for up to 48 hours without interruption and can operate in an optionally manned configuration. It has large towing and payload capacities and is designed to be modular and adaptable for a variety of other tasks. For example, when deployed for counter mine operation, it will have Unmanned Influence Sweep System UISS, which can emit acoustic and magnetic signals to trigger and detonate mines at a safe distance.
The idea of deploying CUSV for patrol and force protection was validated in Norfolk's Elizabeth River during anti-terrorism exercise Solid Curtain 2020 earlier this month. Captain Monty Ashleman, Director of Operations for Navy Region Mid-Atlantic, stated, It will go out there and be one of the tools as a harbor security boat. It may be able to have longer on-station time, may be able to operate in environments where a manned vehicle cannot, without putting itself at undue risk. The CUSV test during Solid Curtain aimed to evaluate the platform's suitability for defending warships. In this particular case, the destroyer USS Arleigh Burke and the carrier USS John C. Stennis. The boat was fitted with a remotely operated 50 caliber machine gun station with cameras, sensors, and a data link to a control station on shore. During the exercise, it intercepted a suspect boat and fired simulated shots to disable it. Ashleman told the local daily press that CUSV is extremely close to readiness for a patrol mission role. Unmanned patrol boats, while a small component of the surface fleet, would fit well with the U.S. Navy's broader interest in deploying autonomous and unmanned vessels. Reports indicate that the head of the U.S. Navy's Fleet Forces Command has asked the service's surface force to develop a concept of operations for both the large and medium unmanned surface vessels in development. The message, which was coordinated with U.S. Naval Forces Europe and U.S. Pacific Fleet, directs the Surface Fleet's Surface Development Squadron to develop concepts for the organization, manning, training, equipment, sustaining, and the introduction and operational integration of the medium unmanned surface vehicle and large unmanned surface vessel with individual afloat units as well as the carrier strike groups, expeditionary strike groups, and surface action groups. It's clear that the U.S. Navy is serious when it comes to deploying unmanned platforms going forward and is putting in efforts to field a mature fleet of unmanned crafts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.